Hello, so this, in this tutorial we're going to be making the short roads on the crest of the parasaurial officer's head. I'm using green for this one, it's going to be the crest for this guy. So I've already made the first few rows, um, so I've made rows one to six and we're about to start the first short row, so that's short row one. So as it says, you take out your stitch marker, I just like to use a little scrap of cotton yarn. And then, as the instructions say, make four SE. So one, two, three, four. And don't worry about the rest of the stitches. Next, a short row two, it says chain six it doesn't really matter exactly how many you chain that was just how many i found fitted best now these stitches are just to get from one part of the crest to another they're not important for anything else they won't be worked and they'll be hidden inside the work so now it says skip the next seven stitches so one two three four five six seven so then we're going to SC into the next stitch and the rest of the next five so it's one two three four five then on the instructions it says single crochet into the next stitch which is from round six so we've gone all the way on top of the ones the four stitches that we did on short row one so the next one's a little gap down so that means we need to go down and make sure that this stitch is nice and tight so that's the first short row section I'm now going to replace the stitch mark as it says so for round seven single crochet around replacing round marker in first stitch so put, put my round marker back in as I make the first stitch. Well, I'm coming to the top of the next of the short last short row. So I'm just going to sink crochet along the top of these making sure that the stitch is nice and tight. And those chain stitches you can just see them inside there, but just ignore them. Right, round eight, let's just increase three around. Increase one, two, three. Increase one, two, three. Increase one, two, three. Round nine, single crochet around, and at this point we should have 15 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So now I'm ready to make the next short row. So this will be short row three. So again, I'm taking out my stitch marker and it says chain seven, skip the next five stitches 
and then do one single crochet. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip the next five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet. There we are. So I've got these stitches, chain stitches, they're just going to be shoved inside the crest, you won't be able to see them. Now next round is round 10. So again I'm going to single crochet around and put in my stitch marker in the first of those stitches. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can see here that I've come to my chain, so I'm just ignoring the chain and I'm going to single crochet in the next stitch around, which is down here, making sure that that stitch is nice and tight. So that's 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 15's up here, 15, so yeah, the 15th stitch should be on the top, here, there we go. Now we have another short row section. So again, I'm going to remove the stitch marker and I'm going to single crochet in the next eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then skip the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then single crochet seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've come to one before the end of the last short row. The next short row, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Again, if you need to make these chains longer or shorter, just do so, they're not important. Now, it says skip the first stitch of short row five. So here was my first stitch of short row five. So I skip that one and then I can single crochet in the next one. And then the next four, so I have five in total. Two, three, four, five. So you can see here that I've skipped the last stitch again of the previous short row. So now for short row seven, chain four, one, two, three, four. Skip the first stitch of short row six. That's over here. So I skip that one. And then make three single crochet. One, two, three. Now that is the last of the short rows. Now we go back to working in rounds. So round 11. It says single crochet around in every unworked stitch, making sure the stitches on the short rows are tight and replacing the round marker in the first stitch of this round. So here's my round marker. So I'm going to single crochet back into this, the last of those rounds. And then the next stitch is the one from the previous short row. So I'm going to single crochet nice and tight in that and then in the short row underneath 
and the unworked stitches. And here we come in to the other side of the short row, so you see could crochet up the sides on the unworked stitches. It's this one. And then the next one. And again. And then the last two. Right, that's the end of all the short rows and as you can see what that has done is created the curve shape for the top of the parasaurial officer's crest um, so now you just continue with rounds 12 to 16 and then you're ready to sew the crest onto the head once you've given it a bit of stuffing and that's the end of this tutorial